What a problem to have. I started too many plants. Good morning, beautiful people. It's another beautiful day. Uh, it's starting to look more and more like fall every day. I'm starting to notice various trees. There's just like a hint of fall color starting. And it sure feels like it. The days haven't been as hot. It's unseasonably cool. I mean, it's the end of August, but usually it doesn't cool down around here till October, like halfway through October is when it finally cools down. But hey, I'll take it. It's actually kind of a bummer when you're trying to grow your own food uh, because we do actually need some of that heat to get crops established, which is what today's video is. I figured since, uh, since I was out here, I would show you guys this first, this bed of beets that we planted last week. Uh, they're loving life. These are doing great. They, uh, I don't think we've lost a single one. So yeah, pretty happy with this. The day that we actually planted these, we watered them, gave them an okay watering. That night we had probably half an inch of rain come down. So they got watered in pretty good. And we've had a few rains since then. Every time it's like, yeah, I should probably drag a hose out there, it rains. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, hence why I'm gonna do this today. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five beds that are ready. And then I've got a whole bunch of stuff that needs to come out and get planted. So I'm gonna go grab my flats of stuff that's ready. Um, I've also gotta get more stuff planted in the flats. None of our cabbage came up. And that's the second time we've planted that particular seed. So I think the seed was bad. It happens, it could be old. Some of the uh, seed that we have is a couple years old and your germination rate kind of declines as the seed ages. So I'm gonna go grab flats of plants and uh, get started planting. Then we got the ever busy Meg in here. Always. You know, some people think I'm just like a slave driver keeping you in the kitchen, but this is all my idea. Like this is this is all her. Like, I mean, you like to eat. I do like to eat. And I do it for that reason. But I don't have to work this hard. When we first started dating, you know, a million years ago. Like, you liked to cook. You would go experiment and make all sorts of weird things. and Yeah. It was usually pretty good. You know, add enough butter and cheese to stuff. And, and garlic. And garlic yeah. and salt. And it's good stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I've always been like this. This is me. Yeah. Chicken Looks broth. like you got chicken broth going on mm -hmm. from chicken the other night. Yep. I'm actually on my way to grab all of our starts. Okay. Could you give me a hand? Mm -hmm. Like, just open doors and stuff. Yeah, I can, I I can carry stuff. Okay. Or, actually, here. You film. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> All right, plants. Today is your lucky day. Who's going out? Everybody. Uh, everybody. Kale and the spinach. This stuff desperately needs oh, to go yeah, out. Oh my gosh! Yeah, look at that. That kale. Thing. That kale is like purple because it's yeah so starved. Okay. Thank you. I'll You're be welcome. right back. Okay. Kind of a janky looking setup, but man, it works great. The UPS guy sure does look at us funny. I know. He'll look in there and you can see the lights. And it's like. It's vegetables. It's legit vegetables. <laughs> Thank you, camera lady. You're welcome. All right, I'll go over what we got. We got a whole bunch of spinach, Bloomsdale. That stuff's ready to go. Uh, we've got some more uh, red Russian kale. This is our favorite kale right here. The coloring is because it it's basically out of nutrients. It's used what nutrients are in this seed tray. That will correct as soon as it gets into the dirt. Cabbage, we had two germinate pretty low numbers but that's what we had in spring we didn't have very good luck with that particular seed i'll just re-sow that broccoli we've got a whole bunch of broccoli and then a whole bunch of brussels sprouts and then what was this that was cauliflower had pretty good luck with the cauliflower brussels sprouts and the broccoli which if you think about it broccoli is about like cabbage you get one main head that you're going to harvest and eat. You can continue harvesting, but if it's slowed down because it's cold outside, you might get one good harvest, which that's what we're after. That's why we're growing so much. Basically, all of these beds up here are going to get filled with coal crops. These are up close to the house. I guess you'd call this zone one. So I'm going to get planting.
All right, I've got two more. These will get huge, that's why I'm spacing them. That's actually probably too tight of a planting spacing because of how big this kale will get. So I'm gonna take these two and maybe stick them over there by those flowers. Grow, little kales. All right, I'm gonna plant this, uh, what is that, a dozen leeks that came up? I'm gonna plant these over here, get these out of the way since there's only just a couple of them. I'll plant them um, in this front bed over here. It's hard to see those leaks, but they're in there. They're tiny. I planted them last spring, or this past spring, and they were that small and I didn't think they were going to make it, but leeks are surprisingly resilient. They did the same thing. I pulled them out and the, uh, the dirt all fell off and I basically bare root planted them. It's a little bit warmer now than it was in spring, so we'll see. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 amazing cauliflowers. I'll stick a couple in here and I guess the rest will go over there. I don't know what I'm doing with all these Brussels sprouts. I got a ton of Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Brussels sprouts in there. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of room here pretty quick. What a problem to have. I started too many plants. All right, I got Brussels sprouts and broccoli left. those have to go in here because this is my last bed that I have open. I'm excited. I think I'm gonna make it all fit. It's a little bit tight for broccoli but that's fine. feels good to have like the majority of our fall stuff in yeah, yeah. There's, there's still some other stuff but we're out of room <laughs> uh, the summer stuff has to come out before we can plant the rest of our fall and winter stuff right and I'm gonna let those peppers go as long as they can hold on okay we'll just right. keep harvesting and making hot sauce and drying them and yeah you name it it's been really good harvest year it has we've got a lot this year yeah as we as we always say grow <laughs> yeah, that's right grow you have to tell them what to do otherwise they won't they don't know that's right they're not sure they're how not this sure. works <laughs> stick them in there grow and then they'll grow okay. otherwise yeah. they'll just they'll just die right all right so something we did want to talk about briefly this year things to do you know ending out the year right usually in october every year uh that they've had it 
there's Homesteaders of America. Right. That is a very fun conference. It is. Um, every year we've been able to go, we've gone, and we've loved it. Yes, it's been awesome. This year, we are not attending just because we have so much going on. Right. We are uh, going down the list of, you know, things. It's like, I don't know if we can go this year. Yeah. Like, we'd already got our tickets and had the airbnb and it was just like the closer it's getting it's like you know what yeah i don't think we're going this year well the plan was to have the cow bred and dried off and dried off now she's not and she's still in milk and we're not going to dry her off just to go to hoa yes so that was the biggest factor but we've had a lot of people ask if we're going so we were like you know what we're just gonna like let's address heads this. up we're not gonna be there but i think it would be a great event for everyone else so so Go and have fun. Yeah. If you want to meet like-minded people, that is a that is, is definitely a place to do it. Yes. Um, every year we've gone, we've had a blast. And we always feel so like energized. Afterwards. Well, I mean, <laughs> we went last year and watching the Dowerties talk, we came home and got a cow. So. And that's why we're not going this year. <laughs> <laughs> we Thanks, don't have any room Jonathan. for more. Yeah. We don't have room for more animals. No. <laughs> Vlog arm got you. Vlog arm. <laughs> like start sagging and the camera starts shaking. <laughs> It's a light camera too, but at arm's length it gets heavy. Yeah, it does. All right, I think that's gonna do it for today. We've actually got something that we gotta go do. Yep. So we will wrap it up here. All right. You guys have a good weekend and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.